Welcome back. Let's just go ahead and straight to the box or the mailbox. Um, I bought a lot of stuff this morning, as you can see. A lot of just random transmog pieces. I just searched armor and I just searched weapons and I sorted it by the percentages. And I just bought a bunch of 0% stuff and 1% stuff. That's what all this is. I also checked the battle pets. So we bought um, three level 25 battle pets. We got a dandelion frolicker for under 500 gold. And this Weebomination and Jade Crane Chick, both for 2,000 gold for a level 25 version. So it's not really letting me show the other monitor for some reason. But we didn't really sell much today. We just had the 10,000 gold that was less in last episode's video that was coming in. And we sold just some random transmog pieces totaling about like 5,000 gold. So what's up, boys? Spent a lot of time. I did the war campaign for Zoldazar. That way I could get into Motherload. I was trying to go for the trinket and Motherload. But it's kind of annoying at this point, like running that dungeon, because there's a lot of stuns. It takes me a long time to kill the bosses. Um, yeah, I'm not, you know, I, I feel like my gear's not absolutely terrible. We did get the Eyes of Rage chest piece, so now we have double Eyes of Rage with Vampiric Speed and this Bulwark. Um, I'm not too sure about Vampiric Speed. I feel like if I'm getting to the point where I'm killing stuff, I'm probably fine on health, but I can always change it to Long Strider later. It's not a huge deal. Uh, we're still working towards the, the 1,000 Awakening Essence. Um, I've been keeping up with my... my whatever you call it, the Class Hall upgrades, because we need to get the um, second Legendary piece unlocked, which... It doesn't take too long, maybe another couple of days. So this ends in about an hour. So it's 12 hours, 18 hours, 30 hours, and a day. So three days till we can equip the face mask thing or whatever. But I've kind of been looking into getting our trinkets. Oh, so the guy in the last video commented, and I went to this Discord, Ermin TV Discord, um, to kind of check out like the twinking and stuff. and. I kind of realized that apparently 110 twinking is the better the better thing to do. But the problem with 110 twinking is that you have to get like all of your gear from Mythic Antorus. And I mean, I've been trying to get into Antorus's all day. Yesterday I got into a heroic Antorus, thankfully, because I had a, a a friend help me cue me in, and then I had to pay another guy to come in and hopefully toss me tier, but I don't really want to be paying a lot of money and waiting weeks upon weeks to get into Mythic and Taurus to get these slots. So getting 111 and getting some of these crafted slots is, I mean, it's really good. You know, I mean, it's way better than spending months in Mythic and Taurus. Maybe if this goes really well and I enjoy it, I will start another Demon Hunter and do him properly. But for now, I think we're good. Um, I, try, I can't. I mean, I can't even get into like normal Antorses. I'm trying to get somebody to help me get in. Maybe I can find somebody. But um, yeah, we got the two. What I, I guess not best in slot pieces. He did tell me that when you complete a full zones quest line and and in, in uh Antorus, you actually get like a 295 piece. So those would be best in slot. But for now, this is fine. Um, we got the Eyes of Rage, which whenever we consume a Soul Fragment, reduces the cooldown of Eye Beam. Um, apparently, that's the best in slot. And yeah, so we did get the Fell Artifact Relic from a World Quest. So our weapons are 216 right now. We got 225s and a 176. I think we can get a little bit higher Fell Artifact Relic from Argus, but I just haven't done the quest line there yet. Um, I'm not really in too much of a rush now since we're kind of just waiting for the helmet. But I was able to solo mother load, so that that was uh, that was really cool. Um, it did take me like I don't know where I go see. Do I go here? Oh yeah, normal doesn't have a lockout. Um, it took me about like five minutes to kill the boss, and I couldn't really mass pull anything in there. I mean, I could solo like the the packs of mobs like one at a time, but you know, with the freezing rains and all the different kind of different trash they had there. Um, 
I think being able to at least solo the bosses is kind of a feat. I might go to Freehold and see what's up, but I don't think I really should really bother until I get my Legendary Helm. For now, I'll just finish up getting the rest of the Waking Ant essences over the day as well as getting more order resources that way we can keep on getting our class hall upgrades till we get the i don't even know if i even showed it but we need to get to the second to last one because it allows us to equip another legendary yeah increases the number of legendary items you can equip by one so right now i can only equip one so that's our boots and then we're going to get the helm but I guess I like the position this guy's in. I'll keep an eye on the auction house. I don't know if 111 BOE trinkets drop. Um, I'm on the auction house on my sniper. I don't know. It's not going to pick it up. But there's a bunch of 110 trinkets. But they're not a high enough item level to put a gem into. If I found, There was one with the socket. Uh, it needs to be item level 200. So we can't really put any gems in there. And there's just... There's the alchemy one which i guess we could go for you know having that increased healing potion you know it's not terrible but there's a a versatility one that restores health when you kill a target that yields experience honor we'll probably pick that up just because right now we're using this bile which i'm pretty sure is absolute garbage and uh you know this uka -duker one but i think we're fine for now so i'm probably gonna hop off for a bit Get back on in about an hour continue with the class hall missions and the order hall and all right so i decided to go with a little different method of making gold um i've done all my world quests i didn't want to on this character we're super close to champions of azeroth and there's not really anything else i want to do on this guy until unless some people get on and they want to do keys or raid tonight and my demon hunter I've done all the world quests I can to get Wakening Essence and Order Resources, and we've got, you know, the research going. So we are pretty much all caught up on everything. Um, at this point, we're probably about three days out from being able to play the Demon Hunter. Uh, in three days, our research should complete, and we can uh, equip a second Legendary piece. But what I want to do now is I've got 20,000 gold. Um... I want to take 20,000 gold and see if we can make money with it leveling engineering. I mean, I imagine we can make money with it, but I want to see, you know, what we can do to just make some money. We do have Pandaria leveled up a bit um, just from making like, you know, whatever this stuff. But I don't think I'm going to start with vanilla engineering and then move on to like Burning Crusade northern and just see you know where we can get with twenty thousand and what kind of items we can make that are worth that is worth selling now i'm not going to be going around farming the materials for it i'm going to do my best to buy everything either to level or make the items off the auction house um so yeah let's go ahead and just get started let's just go ahead and buy all the recipes who cares i'm probably not going to drop engineering like ever i don't think so it's not a big deal so, I mean, this is kind of cool. I didn't re <laughs> I didn't even realize there was like a TSM crafting menu. I think I've seen this in some people's videos sometimes, but I've never actually accessed this on my own because you have to like switch to it. And I hardly ever do profession since I've returned. But it looks like they kind of tell you the the profit of crafting stuff. So I'm assuming it takes the cost of the resources based on market value and then the cost of the item sold based on market value so you've got like this gun uh worth about 10k oh yeah it's yeah it's definitely set off market value because you, you can see right there the 97.54 um whereas the regional market value is only 9,000. so that's actually pretty cool uh we'll probably well we're starting with vanilla um but yeah, I mean, you can see this rough blasting powder. Apparently, it's profit, but I doubt anybody actually buys this stuff because it's so cheap to make. Um, we just finished doing all that. I don't really like the menu, but this whole profit, and I'm assuming this is sale rate, which, I mean, it actually has a pretty high sale rate, so I'm not sure what to think about that. Maybe this stuff actually sells. Um, but if we... Crafting reports... 
Okay, I'm going to have to look into this a lot more. Um, we got our normal engineering up to 40. Let's go ahead and see if we can just pick up any new recipes. So just more, you know, copper crap, whatever. Um, I wonder if this handful of copper bolts is considered profit. Yeah, it's slight profit based on the values. But um, I think I'll make some rough dynamite and just get these free levels and then we'll go on from there. Actually, I'll probably... I'm just going to level it up and I'll get back to you when I actually get something worth making. All right, we're already to our first item. Like, I haven't even done anything. I just crafted some more rough dynamite. Yeah, I decided to buy some copper bars because the next thing up on the list of engineering is copper items. And our first profit maker is going to be these arc light spanners. So, these arc light spanners are used in a lot of different engineering. Uh, recipes and so if you get people who come and pick up engineering to use it for like Pandaria or Legion or even BFA they're gonna need an arc light spanner and majority of the time you know they might not realize how easy it is to get like all I did was buy linen cloth and rough stone and I made the rough blasting powder and then with the linen cloth I made the dynamite um, and then there you go, six copper bars. So for six copper bars, I bought about a gold 50 a pop. So I'm making these for nine gold and they sell for a thousand. I mean, I could have done this on, I mean, I couldn't have done this on like a level five. If I had mining, then I could have done this on like a level five character as soon as I got here. And I mean, imagine brand new to the game, level five, you know, you make a thousand gold just like that. But we need to buy a hammer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and juice out as many levels as I can out of this, just because copper bars, I've got these for about a gold 25 each, but after that, they double in price. So I want to try and squeeze out as many levels from this cheap stuff as I can before moving on. But we'll go ahead and throw together like, I don't know, we'll probably only make like two or three, depending on how many levels it gives us. And we'll just go on from there because I don't want to make too many because they might just sitting my bags for a long time on my other character. <laughs> All right. We've gone on for a little bit. It's probably, I mean, it's been a little longer, but I've just been watching TV and stuff, but we've gotten fairly progressed into engineering. We are 173 out of 300 normal. Um, we've hit a bump in the road where we are completely out of iron bars. There was only like 10 on the auction house. Somebody bought all of them and listed them for like a hundred gold each. And then you can go look at like the iron ore. There's a crap load of iron ore on there for three gold each. So I don't know what they were thinking, but um, I tried to look for a miner who would smelt it. I, you know, I couldn't find anybody and I don't feel like, you know, leveling mining or getting a mining up on another character smelted. So instead of that, I think we'll continue on to the next step, which I'm assuming would be the Burning Crusade engineering. I'm not exactly sure how this is all split up. I think first I'll head over to Gnome again and see if I can pick up like, uh, you know, Gnome Engineering or Goblin Engineering. And then we'll head over to Burning Crusade and see if we can get that. So we do have like about 250 gold, 500 gold worth of ore here that we haven't gotten to use. But and 1.6 thousand gold, we made all these items. We made four of these arc light spanners, which... Normally would only go for about 800 gold. So we're just going to say 800 gold, even though our server is way higher than that. We made two of these green, green tinted goggles go for about 4k each. I mean, they weren't like super easy to make. So um, if we go to engineering, so you make the flying tiger goggles with bronze bars and tiger's eye. And then using those flying tiger with moss gates, I don't know what you how you call them, and the medium leather you can make the green tinted. So made two of those, about 4K each. We made some deadly blender buses, 800 gold each, uh, crafted boomsticks, 2.5K each, and these spy glasses that let you look really far for 250 each. Um, so I mean, overall, I mean, that's well over 10,000 gold worth of stuff. And we've only spent one and a half K. But let me head over to Gnomergan, or not Gnomergan, Iron Forge, and see if we can pick up one of the the off branches of engineering and then if not i'll head to burning crusade but we might just have to head to northern and start leveling that one i'm not actually too sure 
Okay, I think we're just about done. Uh, we made it all the way up to Pandaria. I guess let's start off from the beginning. So, you saw we made it to engineering. We got stuck by iron bars because there just are none in the auction house. I did buy some iron ore as well as silver ore to get smelted down. Um, but until we can find somebody to do that, we're pretty much hard stuck on making anything in just vanilla engineering. So, we moved on to Outlands and we made some elemental blasting powder because there was only four modes of fire on the auction house so i just bought those four made these and i can list these if i wanted to but i'll probably just hang on to them for when we actually start leveling out land engineering but there are no fell iron bars on the auction house there is some fell iron ore but i believe it was let me just search this real quick yeah i mean there's some but not enough to actually do anything with uh, we moved on to Northern, same exact thing, uh, except for Cobalt. Um, we bought out the Cobalt that was on the auction house, and we got our level up to about, what, 13? And, I mean, there's a decent amount of Cobalt ore. I should probably go ahead and buy this. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and buy this, because Cobalt ore is pretty rare. It's like a pain in the ass to farm, and it's just not worth farming, so... That's basically our 10, 20k gone. Uh, but we'll have that when we find somebody with some mining to smelt it with us. Uh, then we headed to Cataclysm. Um, did we make anything from here? We didn't make this. It just wasn't worth making. There was a couple of them for 3,000 gold on the auction house. Um, we did make... No, we didn't make anything. Basically, all I did was just buy a bunch of volatile air and convert it into volatile or electrified other. So I can sell these or I can hang on to them or I could do like 50 50. But, you know, we have about 5,000 gold worth of electrified other. And I think we spent probably, <laughs> I don't know, maybe like a thousand gold on the volatile air. So, I mean, that's quite a lot of free money. Um, I'll probably send like half over. Let's do that. That seems fair. We'll hang on to the rest of this. Uh, what else did we do? So that was about it for Kata. So at this point, you know, we have all these materials from normal engineering. We're going to hang on to. We got some ores as well as, yeah. So then we headed on to Pandaria Engineering. And we basically maxed this out. We got it to 55 out of 75, which is all the craftable, like, tradable recipes. At 75 out of 75, it's just the two mounts and Blingtron 4000. There's nothing really to be made of money out there, so we don't have any reason to level it up anymore uh, money-wise, unless there's like, you know, world drop recipes or something. Um, I did want to make this long-range Trillium Sniper. Apparently, there's one up on the auction house pretty cheap, so it might not be worth it. But um, we do need to, like, uh, to make this scope to make the sniper and there's no primordial rubies on the auction house so uh we couldn't do that but um didn't make two wormhole generators uh we spent 10 well 8.9 thousand gold on trillion bars uh we used half of them so we spent about 4.5 thousand gold on trillion bars and 500 gold on spirits of harmony so for 5,000 gold, we made two items worth 11k each. So that's approximately like 8,000 gold profit per if we do sell them. Um, I could see us selling it. You know, it only requires level one panda engineering. So instead of having some guy having to like get engineering, level it up all the way to get this and then make it, you know, if he just wants this and he can buy it, um, even though it's really overpriced. We did make some of these equipable trinkets, um, Miss Piercing Goggles, and the Big Game Hunters, I think you already saw. And then I made a bunch of these gears, which are unique equipped cogwheel socket gems. So, you know, I don't know who's buying this stuff or why, but the the sale rate isn't actually too low. Like, I mean, we we deal with transmog that has a way lower sale rate than that and they were only like a ghost iron bar each to make or something like that yeah two so cost me about 40 gold to make each of these and each of them have 
nearly a thousand to two thousand and some are three thousand gold each so i mean if we sell one it's just like insane amount of profit um but yeah i think we're pretty much done for now um i could head on to legion engineering with some more gold but uh, i'm kind of bored of this and i've got all these materials and uh we'll pick this up another day we'll uh you know scan the auction house see if we can start up in cataclysm or northern but for now we're kind of stuck i'll try and get these ores smelted by somebody but um let me go ahead and add all this up and we'll see how much we made so it took us probably less than an hour to do this if you were playing a lot faster than me and not well pandaria is kind of annoying because you have to you know fly from shrine all the way over to the guys over here to learn and then i was coming back because i don't have the portable mailbox as well as uh the anvil I actually bought a portable anvil um but all in all we made about 91.5 thousand gold worth of items um some of this is kind of junk like the basically everything other than the gun and the wormhole generator i guess the electrified other is not too bad either but um you know you could take about 24,000 gold away from these gears i mean I, I don't know if they'll actually sell but you know whatever um and then yeah i guess those are the only ones you really should take away but with twenty thousand gold we made about seventy eight thousand gold worth of items is that right no sixty eight thousand gold worth of items which i mean it's not too bad um it's not the rate at which i would like to invest my gold but right now we're sitting on like four hundred thousand gold so we're not I could do like another 20,000 um, and continue on into Legion Engineering as well as uh, current tier engineering. I don't know if there's any money to be made in like the current tier engineering, but I think for now I'm done. I'm probably going to go get some food and prepare for raid. But yeah, I guess this is a little thing you can do. I mean, you can do this with leatherworking, you can do this with blacksmithing. Like, you know, these goggles their appearances right you know I, I doubt people are going to be buying them to use them well i guess it requires 150 engineering um but you know i i don't know if you pick up like blacksmithing leather working tailoring those you can make tons of different items leveling up that all have like transmog value this one's a little different because a lot of these items require engineering to actually use or wear so there's not much stopping people from just leveling up the engineering and then making it theirself. But um, I'll go ahead and mail all this over and I'll dump the rest of the stuff in our bank. So we'll ha we'll have all this for our next session because uh, we did pay for it. One final clip to end off the day. Um, we just got out of Mythic Raiding and we were doing progression on King Rossalon. Um, pretty cool boss, I guess. Oh, okay. I'm an idiot. We downed Conclave today. I was looking at this and I saw 316 and I was like, oh, we must have done that yesterday and I just completely forgot. But it's actually past 12 a.m. here. So uh, my computer says it's the 17th and I was like, oh, I must have done that yesterday. Yeah, we downed Conclave, which is really nice. I bonus rolled a cloak, 415, um, crit haste. So it's basically best in slot stack cloak. And, yeah, I mean, it was really cool. We got on to King Rostalon or whatever his name is. Got a, about an hour and a half progression into him. Uh, cool fight. But I think that's about all we did today. We are super close to being revered with Champions of Azeroth, so that would be nice to get another 15 item level in our neck. And then I know they added another 10 item level, but I think you actually have to be exalted to get that. Um, as for that, no other real progression on this account or this character or the death knight recently um we did go into raid finder on the death knight and my fucking game capture is still not working okay so my game capture is still not working but it looks like our fps is fine so we should be good like this for now um it is the end of the day we are ending off well i guess let's check the mailbox so we only sold 7,000 gold worth of stuff throughout the day. That's pretty terrible. 
uh, Five of Fathoms, The Spirits of Harmony. Uh, and that's about it. We did buy a lot of stuff today, though. Um, here's a lot of random transmog. We got the Ceremonial Leather Loincloth for 15 gold worth about 25k. And the Century Sash got it for 12 gold worth about 9k. So those are two really good pickups. Um, and just some more random stuff. We did get a Plundered Blade of Northern Kings worth about 95k. We got it for 15, so that's super cool. We got another Auction Control module for 3,000 gold. I don't understand this because... We've already sold two of these for 19,000 gold. And we just, I don't know, whatever. Um, some Cataclysm one handed weapon, I think. No, wait, that's Miss of Pandaria. It says it's worth 53,000 gold. I don't know if that's true, but whatever. Um, some Cata boots, you know, some more random transmog. Uh, this Authenticator Engineer, engineer Goggles. When we were doing the engineering, I saw this was only up for 100 gold, so I bought that. And, yeah, just a lot more random items as we go through here. Transmog. This guy, Dog Carp or Crap or whatever his name is. Oh, the Hipper. Hipper and Dog Crap, they're doing this, like, you know, this scammy post really low and snipe people who accidentally miss list or stuff. It's really bad. Um... Just some more stuff. We did get this 355 Landoy Scrutiny 120 trinket. It's an agility trinket for 86 gold. Worth about 50k. I don't know, you know, what the deal with 86 gold is, but I'll take it. Never message me. We bought a Terran Ospreaker for 500 gold. Um, and just some more random transmog. Nothing too special. Just finished posting everything, and we're ending today at 5.5 million. Quite a large jump from yesterday. I think yesterday we were somewhere around like 5.2 or lower. Um, yeah, I don't really know where we got all that value from. I guess from all the stuff we bought today, because we only made about 90k from engineering. And other than engineering, it was just items we bought off the auction house. We do have 5,000 gold coming in, which is nice, but... Yeah, that's really nice. We do have a lot of items in our bank. Um, I don't know why my Bagnon's not working, but uh, basically anything that I can't post, I'll dump in my bank. That way, when I'm emptying out the mailbox, it makes it a lot easier. I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you tomorrow.